So this is the view that you're going to get when you open the front page of the workbook. Um, the workbook comes with three different tabs. There's the cover page, there's a tab called money, and there's a tab, tab called time. Now you can see that preloaded with some example data, the suggestion is that we have an hourly rate here of 70 units. So 70 pounds, 70 euros, 70 dollars, whatever your currency is going to be. There's some notes that just explain a little bit more about typical charging uh, for both the UK and the US. Um, but the powerful part of the spreadsheet comes into play when you click through to the other tabs. This is the money tab and you can see the various items, the rows that are assembled here. They start with the target salary before tax that you would like to earn on a monthly basis. It then goes through the typical costs of an interior design business, so costs of vehicle, fuel, all of your technology costs, software subscriptions, insurance costs, premises, materials, and then professional services that you might employ. So change these to reflect the reality of your business. And if you come across one that actually doesn't apply, where you don't have a cost, um, for example, perhaps you don't rent an office, then you can simply change that by clicking into the box and entering a zero. When you do that, when we go back to the cover, you can see that the hourly rate has now dropped. And the reason that it's dropped is because we've taken out the need to cover the cost of rental of premises uh, on a monthly basis. So I'm just going to go back and put that back at 700. And you can see that our hourly rate has gone back up to 70 again. The third tab is the time tab. Um, this is a fairly simple page. And as with the previous pages, there are helpful notes over on the right hand side. The first choice you need to make is how many days a week you want to work. So obviously five days a week, um, well, would be full time for most of us. You might even work six um, or perhaps you want to work two, three or four days a week. I've entered the number of bank holidays that we have in the UK, but you can change that. And I've also suggested um, an annual leave allocation of 25 days, which would be five weeks. I'm recommending that each week you set aside a day. And this is a day when you're not working for specific clients, but when you're performing tasks that are beneficial to the whole of your business. So maybe you're off seeing suppliers, uh, perhaps you're doing your accounts or some marketing, um, but we're talking about activities that cannot be billed exclusively to a single client. So we need to set some time aside for that. A typical working day might be seven hours when you've taken away time spent eating or perhaps having short breaks. And then the final field that you need to fill in here is an estimate of how much of your time, how much of your available client facing time you think it's actually realistic for you to sell. So just because you have a day free to help a client, if in the early stages of your business, this doesn't necessarily mean that there'll be a client around to fill that time. So for this final row, row 14, I'm asking you to just guesstimate what percentage of the time that you have available is actually realistically going to be bundled and sold to a client. In this case, I've put in 0.8 or 80% of the time, um, and that gives us 70 pounds or 70 euros or $70 an hour as our rate. If your business is newer and you aren't quite as busy as you hope to be in the future, maybe you would think that you might just sell half of your available time. If we go back to the cover, you can see that actually now, in order to cover all of your costs, in order to meet your aspirational salary, you would actually have to charge 111 pounds or 111 euros per hour because you don't have as many clients you're not selling as much time to your clients so just go through this download the spreadsheet um, and enter 
uh, the dark black fields of where you need to put in your bespoke information and just keep an eye on that cover sheet um, where the suggested hourly rate is going to change automatically depending on what you enter into the spreadsheet. I hope it's useful. Um, let me know and also let me know what else would be beneficial to your business because I'm in the business of making support materials and I'd love to hear from you. So keep me posted.